Alright, this part we're going to be finishing the spoiler section, and then all we have left is the door. So we're going to do the door in this part too because it's uh, pretty straightforward. Um, before we get on to that, I just want to say that I made the panel gap between the fender and the hood a bit wider um, because it looks a lot better this way. Uh, it just matches references uh, a bit closer because the yeah. Yeah, uh, just uh, go around and look at reference images and make sure that you're uh, not being too uh, like tight. And then uh, same here with the roof. This is a bit more of a gap. Will look good. Okay, now let's go back to the base mesh and uh, let's duplicate it and bring it to bodywork and let's call this one. Uh, spoiler. And then let's get rid of everything in front. Okay, now let's cut with the knife tool. And then once you've cut that, delete everything on the outside, up to the spoiler. And then that's good. And then we delete this area. And then everything underneath can go as well. It's good. Okay, um, and then that's pretty much it cut out. Now all we have to do is go in and put in holding loops for areas like this. And then down here. We'll put one in too. And then after it's recalculate the normals to face the other way and then add the shrink wrap to base and then add the solidify that's minus 0 0.003 and then any shading issues here just slide them back Oh yeah, just let's get rid of that row first. And now let's see how that fits into the side. Okay. Bring that down and let's bring this down as well. And then bring this. Let's bring this up to the point that it doesn't have the shading issues. And then up here, let's try and match the curve to the fender. Like that. Okay. And then, yeah, make sure the normals are recalculated like before. And then this area, you don't have to worry too much about because it will have this um, thing that connects the spoiler to it. So, yeah, you don't have to be too. Um, picky about this. One thing that I will do on the base mesh, let me find it, is uh, up 
here we're going to sharpen that to match the reference. Let's hide that, go into the spoiler, and let's add that in. Okay, perfect. And now let's look at it with the matte cap on. The reflections pass, but they should. Um, between the panels, just fine. Alright, and then now let's move on to the doors. So, just copy the guide mesh again, move it down, hide that, call it doors. And let's see, we need to do everything, the shape, and then we do the uh, door handle cutout. So let's go into edit mode, delete everything in front. So now we have just the door. That fits in. Alright, and then now let's just bring these over and then we can get rid of the front like that and anything that doesn't match will line up later but get close enough and the back will do the same let's put that new edge loop in and delete what's underneath, including that. Okay, now just reline up that. Okay, uh, I can come out, same there. Let's apply the shrink wrap first of all to base. Cool. Um, now inside view, let's make sure that the rim or the panel gap is consistent. That looks consistent. And then the bottom needs to be brought up slightly in some areas, but also brought down in some areas. Like right. And then the same here for the front, which actually is a little bit tighter, so we'll do that. But that's good. And now we we wrap the edges. But let's join these three at the center to keep that curve. And I'm going to bring this over a little bit. Okay. Perfect. Um, let's add the solidify now. Negative 0 0.003. Um, set it to only rim and flip the normals to be the right way around. And we'll see how the reflections. Uh, translate between you can see it just works very lovely and I realized this we forgot to pick only rim so just do that so you can save us time uh, on the render okay now the door handle uh, let's see we're actually gonna move this up I'm gonna put in that and then gonna put it in that there. So first let's make sure that uh, we don't make too much of a difference on the shape by adding those. Uh, it shouldn't be too big of a problem. This needs to come over to compensate. And then these need to spread out to uh, maintain a curve.
like so. Okay, now we have this. Let's inset it a little bit, and we're just going to delete the face. and just scale it up and then we're going to grab these and we need to move them across and then down a little bit and then same with this but we're also going to bring it up just to match the shape a bit better okay then we have this we're just going to extrude it inward along the x and now we'll go into the uh, vertex groups let's have only that part remain selected control i and hit assign at value weight of 1 and then for the shrink wrap let's pick group like that okay um, put that in just to clear up the Separation. I'm just going to put a face there. Alright. And then after that, we're going to scale that face down. We're going to do the same thing there. And then this, we're going to try and assign it the weight of. We'll remove it with 0.5. Um, let's see. get it from the front view. Yeah, it has that little like knuckle, I guess. Um, I think that's fine. Uh, I want to sharpen the back of it. Uh, as you can see, it's a bit bigger at the back. That's cool. Um, let's grab these here and then spread them part and then these can come up slightly yeah just bring those up slightly and try and keep the rim consistent like that and then yeah the door handle I think we are good with yeah so just Keep that how it is. Yeah. Okay. I think that's okay. Uh, I might slide these over to do that little shape, and I might do the same here. Okay. Yeah. And let's bring back the mat cap, and it's still works fine okay that is all of the body work done now we can get on to details like the uh, bumpers vents etc but yeah um, pretty good what is going on here we forgot to delete uh, we forgot to delete some vertices in the door Like that. Okay, that's fine. That's also tight. So just make sure you don't make that mistake anywhere on anywhere else on the model. Uh, yeah, see you guys soon for the next um, stage.